All right, did you see any? Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? Oh, dude, is that a point? Oh my gosh. Oh, All right, so we're back on the river again today and we're at that spot where uh, I've been finding a lot of stone tools like Native American or American Indian stone tools. A lot of spear points and you know knife blades and maybe a couple arrowheads, some dart points. Anyway, this is my second time, the third time here. I actually found this spot earlier in the earlier in the year and have just gone along just kind of eyeballing stuff in the water mostly, but also up on land right here and done really well the last, uh, the, both times that I came here. I think I found six or 10 points each time. A lot of people were asking about this line that goes across right here. And you see it goes all the way down and it's very, very level. I think that from the last time we had a flood, uh, which was earlier in the summer, that was probably the level, the maximum level of the water. If you look at these bushes, this is all flood stuff. Okay, so the water was up to here, was up to there, was up to there. It was actually probably a little bit higher than that, but that might have been the last one. It's all sand, 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 and it uh, doesn't look like it's any different. I just think that's where the water was lapping at it. I don't think anyone's digging that out. I think that's just where the water laps underneath there, and that's probably a layer of sand. That's a lot sand or silt that's a lot less hard than what's here so that's like a weak layer that's being dug out of there uh, naturally now so this is a kind of a, this is the highest point right along this part of the river and if you look that is kind of where we're finding most of our stuff right down in there that's where those little gravel piles are what we're going to work on and they sell those little gravel piles right there and this bank probably went out who knows how many more feet but it certainly went out further and you can see it's being you can see where it's being cut away now i did go all the way out in the middle and look and there's no uh flakes or anything out there everything is kind of in that little bend right there where those smaller rocks are and that's what we're going to sift so i got this little sifter in the mail actually uh earlier this year it's a guy that makes them um i apologize i can't remember your name but i'll put a link to his website i've not even used it yet but we're going to put it to put it to use today it's a little floating sifter so pretty cool i think it's going to work out well smaller beads might go through there but like eagle buttons and stuff wouldn't for sure and no no coins but i think we'll catch most of the stuff in there okay i have to do a little bit of a voiceover now because the wind noise was just absolutely horrible on um, with the gopro i put the sifter up on the bank so that i could really load it up with rocks i figured if it was floating around out in the water i would either tip it over or not be able to hit the target after a while so this is just you know i'm just testing it i haven't really used it before uh, let's see how we do but first we have to sift out some of the uh, big rocks and all that silt and mud mud is really really sticky here so I, well you'll see that i have a little bit of a problem with that now up on the bank and sorry for that crazy camera work hope it doesn't make it too nauseous I promise it won't be so painful in just a few moments once i get the technique down all right of course you saw this big rock that's definitely fire cracked and reddened a bunch of little smaller rocks just those to the side I originally planned to do this over by the boat can you see that we'll probably will end up doing that i think it'd be a little easier oh looky <laughs> For, that's, un, that's unreal man that, oh looky jeez oh my god <laughs> That is freaking awesome. Look, there's more. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that baby. You know, honestly, say I had no idea we'd actually find stuff. I thought I could see pretty much everything. All right, let's look at where I just took that stuff from. Right in this area right here. There's one right there, too. What do you think? A big flake of it. Big flake. Um, yeah, so I'm going to re scoop it again. I'll do up to here in the next batch. I didn't know it was going to be so windy today, otherwise I would have brought my external mic. It's been quite a bit of a park. 
that I think you should have this turned around, but I'll put it like this for now. All right, what do you see? Can you see? These are these things, these big rocks. Take a quick peek, and we'll bring it up to land. I don't see any in this one. There's definitely some fire red and stuff in here, and cracked rocks and flakes. That's a flake, but that's not a not a really good work piece. So. Right, I'll go ahead and dump this out. Get rid of this stuff. I don't know why I'm shaking the roots, kind of like you do with gold. Um, I'm just going to scoop it all up into the middle again, just like I did back there. Walk that out there. Good many rocks right here, too, that were buried. I couldn't see. All right. Look at that real quick. What do you say? All this stuff goes away. Oh, look, there's one right there. Check it out. Man. Definitely a rich spot. Wow, look at that bad boy. Now, obviously, the tip's broken, but still, that's a beauty. And the thing is, you see that green right there? That's algae, so that was showing. That part of it was actually showing when I was looking for it and I just I didn't see it maybe you guys did one of the other videos and I bet you if we go back and look we'll probably see it but uh, all right let's throw the stuff into the uh into the old shaker and see what we have overloaded it Definitely overload. This is actually designed more or less for guys that are metal detecting. So you might only have like a scoop of uh, one, or, one or two scoops from the bottom. Alright, I should have gotten it. Let's see what we have. Alright, so this is what we have in this scoop. We're taking these big ones off. That one, that's uh, definitely a flake there. Fire cracked. Don't see any yet. That's an interesting rock. Look at that. Got little quartz crystals in it. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, that's a beauty right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Same down right there. Let's shake this out again. So I'm acting like a gold panning. That's what I would be doing with a gold pan sifter. All right. Lots of broken stuff. Right, let's just dump it out. Let me say that might be easier actually. That's a hundred times easier. You just kind of go through it like this. Some flakes. Not much pottery. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and, um, so we're not here all day doing this, because I've got some other stuff I want to try to do. So what I've done is I've raked a strip up through there. I'm going to wait to the silt settles. Oh, there's that other one. I lost that one. Actually, I lost one on the last trip I was here. It's a big, uh, big quartz one. It was in the video, but not in the roundup, so I dropped it somewhere. I'm afraid I might have dropped it out when I was in deeper water because I looked all around when I came here. I want to show you this as that clears out. Look at this. Look at these layers. There's that hard clay layer. Look at this layer right here. This has got charcoal on it. 
Now, this could have been put down in the last 50 years. I, we don't really know. It's really hard for us to say unless we can find some, uh, you know, flakes and stuff in there. But that's charcoal, so that's part of a campfire. And that could be, this could be the layer everything's coming out of. That nice dark layer right there. I don't know. There's definitely evidence of a fire. Most likely someone's cooking fire. There's some more up there. Look at that. I don't really see any pieces sticking out of that, though. There's charcoal. Interesting. I'm really excited to come back here in the spring. When this has been, oh, this would be all wiped clean. All these leaves and stuff will be gone. And we'll be able to see what we got. All right. Cleared out. Yeah, this is where I raked it all up. Not a lot of rocks in this section. Um, let's go look. What do you say? This is where I'll start picking stuff up. You said a lot of silt in here. I just want to see if we can see anything. It might be one right there. What do you think? Nice the flake. Little piece there. All right, nothing obvious. But that doesn't mean there's not a bunch of them in there. Oh, yeah, let's look through here, too. This is the... Oh, it's hard right here. Nothing's going to be below that, so... Oh, it's up through here too. <laughs> Alright, not seen anything obvious. Oh, this could be one. Nope, this little dark thing over here looks suspicious. Yep, that's definitely maybe. Not really soft, so that wouldn't be one. Alright, did you see any? Oh, we're gonna find out, aren't we? Oh dude, is that a point? Oh my gosh! Oh. That's a nice one right there. Ow! Almost cut my finger. Look at that baby! Wow! That's awesome! I don't know if that would be a, a sticky, a pokey, or a cutter. You know, like a knife. It looks like a knife blade more than anything, but I'm sure you could stab a big old beast with that and bring it down. Oh man, that's freaking awesome. All right, what do you say? I'll fill up the sifter. I got to pick that up so I don't leave it behind. I'll fill up the sifter and see what we got. Got the little sifter uh, filled up. Uh, I'm getting ready to sift her down. But that looks very suspicious too, doesn't it? See it? I'm going to put you under. Tell me what you think. This is pretty awesome. I don't care if that was a stick. Ah, I'm away. Right here. All right, let's set this up together. I think what I'll do um, in a minute, we'll just go ahead. I'll just make a big pile of rocks and we'll go through them together. But let's set this one together while we're here. Actually, my gold, uh, gold ring would have probably been better for this. Since we're taking, uh, getting a bunch of dirt and a bunch of sand and more than one scoop. If we look at the rings, it's going to be perfect. What do you see? Uh, a whole lot of, a lot of broken stuff in there. So who knows? Oops, that might be one right there. Let's dump her out. Well, we better pick it up, just in case it is. I don't want to break it. Is it? <laughs> it's a little shaky. Yep, that is definitely another one. Not the happiest looking one I've ever seen, but it's got that notch on the bottom. All right, let's set that up. Uh, let me dump it out real quick. All right. Here, you seen it yet? That's a drill right there, isn't it? Can you see that? Yeah, I've got a bit of picky up. Hold on, I do believe this is a drill. Yep, that's a quartz drill. This would have been used, uh, you know, to punch holes and stuff, you know, you know, like uh, hides and things like that. You can like drill little holes and things, bones, whatever. I'm actually saving all this stuff in another area. Um, I'll look through it again later. If you guys see anything that you, I missed, let me know. That's <laughs> probably a whole bunch of stuff. Let's look and see what we use to do. All right, so we're... That's a hard pan. So this is I've scooped up through here. It looks like I stopped here. So we'll get the rest of this next. 
what I'll do is I'll go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and just shake a bunch of stuff out and just put it in a big pile and we'll just go through it together uh, and that way it won't be quite so boring for you uh, yeah so I was just getting ready to uh, get the scepter those rocks and I look down look I think I'm right there and then uh no that's just a flake okay never mind <laughs> all right so I scooped up about five or six more of those little tubs and got them panned out now I'll be honest with you I think if I had my gold stuff with me today my gold uh classifier and buckets I could get it a lot faster and easier I do definitely have to get down a little deeper in the mud though because Going in it with my fingers, I can feel that this stuff that I'm not going to get with my scraper. So we'll have to come back and redo this, but that's another day. All right, uh, we'll eyeball this in a minute. Well, I guess we can right now. What do you say? Uh, you see, I missed quite a few of these rocks. So. I'll come back here. Don't worry. Let's see if you can oh, this, but yeah, some of the rocks are actually embedded in that mud. I had to like pull them out with my fingers. So. I think I scraped up some of this, but definitely need to get, that's where I stopped right there. I mean, the best stuff was actually up in there. That's where the most, most of the rocks are. So I think that's going to be the sweetest spot. All right, um, there you go. All right, can you see that good? All right, let's see what we have. We'll just kind of start poking through the top and I'll throw some water up on here in a minute for the bigger rocks over there. I thought it, yeah, I think that might be one too, huh? That's not the one. <laughs> That's the one we already found, is it? Now, I think that's a new one right there. All right, let's set him up there. Well, this was kind of curious. This could be like a chopping thing. I don't really see where it's cracked on the edges, though. Maybe a little bit right there. They could use something like this for um, smashing things, breaking open things, breaking open bones to get to the marrow, things like that. We might save that one. Of course, those are all pieces there. Ooh, pottery. I think that's really the first piece we found, isn't it? Kind of surprising, considering we eyeballed quite a few of them last time we were here. So over there. You see me yet? <laughs> all right, let me spread this out. Splash some water on it for you. Yeah, the uh, gold classifier will definitely be 100% better than this. I won't have any of this mud. All this mud will be gone if I had that. I don't really see much in this one, except for the two pieces we set aside. Ah, it might be one. Yeah. What do you think? It's definitely been hit several times, but and it could have been a tool. could have been a little scraper or something. Something to cut things, small things with, but I'm not so sure about that one. We'll set that aside for now. All right, I'm going to turn you off for a minute. Sorry, I have to keep turning you off, but I'm, uh, I'm afraid the, um, I don't want to make this scene too long in the camera because if it doesn't record for some reason, which sometimes it doesn't, then I'll lose everything. This way I'll lose, that lose a little bit. I thought that might be wrong. Boy, the shadows are terrible. Uh, it's a little bit cloudy today, so when the cl so, uh, clouds go over the sun, it's not so bad. What do you think? Yeah, we, ooh, what's that one? Kind of like the same type of thing. I mean, that could be natural, though. Can't see where it was purposely broken. There's a couple of chips right in here. Again, that could be a little smasher. Is that that little, I guess you call it a hammer, not a smasher, but I'm okay with smasher if you are. I'm gonna do just, I'll go through all this again. I'll, uh, I'll throw the big rocks to the side and I'll put the smaller ones back in the sifter to carry it rid of some of this mud. I'm not happy with uh, how we're getting this cleaned off in the sifter so i'll get my classifier it'll be a hundred times better than this which is just a di slightly different setup but we'll have to come back for that all right I'll, I'll go ahead and do that real quick i'll show you if i find anything neat let's go ahead and jump up to this area in here where there's a couple spots where there's a lot of rocks and we'll just do some prospecting and by prospecting i mean just see if we can find the best spot definitely coming back but i'm not gonna get this done <laughs> I had to go get my pan, that little uh, baking pan there, because I want to scoop some of those rocks up. And um, I, have, I haven't gone through that stuff yet. And when I came over here to get it, because I had it set by the boat, look at this. I think that might be a point right there, too. What do you think? Oh, yeah. I was 
that knife blade, doesn't it? And I saw this thing too, but I think it's just a regular rock. Yeah, it's just a rock. I cannot believe that. Look at that. I mean, that's not something I just dug up either. Yeah, see, those are down in that down in that mud a little way, so there could be tons of stuff hidden in there. Mm -hmm. All right. I didn't really find anything else in that, uh, that stuff we looked through already. So let's take a couple scoops of this, see how this is going to pan out. That stuff's way down in the um, in the mud here. It's a nice thick layer of mud. There's definitely stuff down in it. So we'll have to bring, bring a better shovel next time. I'm wearing one glove. All right, let's see Have to move you. Let's take a quick peek. That's probably some type of grinding stone. It looks really flat on that side. All right. Yes. I'll flip it out, but I don't guess we have to. Some of these bigger pieces out. A little ones in here. See any little ones? I don't see much in this one. Except one little grinder. all right i'm gonna work on my own just for a few minutes just whip through a couple more uh a couple more of these and then i'm gonna jump in the boat and cruise around for a while uh just to do something different but we're gonna come back hopefully before um the river floods again and we are i'm going to bring a different setup totally different setup i know exactly what i need now let's see something up here looks suspicious um that right thing right there might just be a flake, but yeah. Oh, that's a little, um, that's like a scraper right there. That's made out of quartz. You see how there's a bunch of little flakes taken off there. One, two, three, four, five, a bunch of flakes. So that would have been used to uh, scrape hides or uh, cordage, you know, vines uh, uh, and things like that. That's definitely a tool right there. Yeah, we're not finding as many of these as we are the actual uh, points, though. We usually find a lot more of these things, you yeah. know. <laughs> these all right give me a minute so i kind of went up the river there and i i took like five pans i actually didn't find anything else except for one scraper but what we're going to do right now is we're going to just kind of walk up through up through there together where i was digging see if we can eyeball anything and then i'm going to call it a day for this spot and i'm going to go explore the river go down the river and go back up the river see if i can find anything else like this but we're definitely coming back because I have some other ideas. And if you guys have any other techniques, look at that. I don't know. Kind of thought it might be um, how to best do this. Because there is stuff down in there. I've got to dig down a little bit deeper than I thought I did. I thought I could just scrape right along the top. But like that stuff in there. Uh, let's just walk up through here real quick to see if I scared anything else up when I was scooping. Took a couple different that one was a leaf but that's uh, it's been in a fire all right so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to get in the boat kind of see if i can find another spot or two i'm going to bring you with me but we're going to come back here um probably very soon and do some more sifting i do want to show you one thing on the uh, bank here that was kind of odd i don't know if you remember that big rock but you know i've had it in the last two videos last two times i was here that was in it and i just noticed i picked it up to see a minute. it's definitely a big uh crushing stone see that right there that's where they you know that was used as a big hammer like that to beat stuff probably break bones i would guess you know big animal bones to get to the marrow but that's what that is <laughs> pretty cool huh I guess we ought to say that I don't tell how many things like that I've missed up in here even you can see flakes right there even like I said I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the boat look for a new spot and if we find one uh, we'll be well we can't be any luckier than we were today I don't think I think we did really well I mean we're only here what an hour and a half probably max I wonder what this thing is too before we go there's some food for thought and I want you guys to think about it because when I first saw it, I thought it was natural, but I'm not so sure now. Look at this right here. I thought these were just like old trees, but I just noticed they're really quite in a line. I wonder if that's like an old fish weir. 
goes down to here and then continues on down a little bit but i kind of suspect that's probably part of a fish weir and what i mean by that that would be like a trap that the uh the indians would make and of course colonials did too it'd be like a v-shaped thing in the river and they would chase the fish down into like the a funnel shaped opening and in that opening they would put nets or like baskets where the fish would go into it and they couldn't get out and I, I suspect that's what that is that could be that could be a thousand years thousand year old uh work right there or even more although i think they weren't doing that too much earlier than a thousand two thousand years from what i've read but i could be wrong on that but i swear that looks like it's fallen more since the last time i was here but i don't believe it has all right enough yapping we'll see you on the next one I hope you join me then You'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what.